Hello YouTube and welcome to my first asset tutorial for Blender. We're gonna make locally assets for games in this tutorial series. But today we're gonna first make a prefabricate to use for baking and later for next two or three tutorials and it is gonna be grass blades. So firstly I'm gonna add plane you can you can see the keys I press here so I'm gonna go in edit mode uh, and rotate it by 90 degrees on the Y axis then I'm gonna move it upwards by one unit um, I'm gonna go in orthographic side view and scale it on the Y axis a bit and what is gonna be next is I'm gonna loop cut it here. Um, I think the four times must be enough. Then scale down this one. Utter that not that much, but just a bit this one. Also this one. And scale all of them actually like this. Last thing, but not the least is loop cut here. Okay, I'm gonna scale those up a bit. And move this downwards. Okay. We have basic stem. Um I'm gonna go out of orthographic. And now I'm gonna select this. This 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 and this. And move them out on X axis a bit. Then I'm gonna move this in back a bit as well as at the top one. And I'm basically down. I'm gonna now add hemisphere lamp. We can see this grass. I'm gonna call it grass. I have found it useful that it's good if you manage the files better by calling all the objects otherwise the files can really get bad management and then you can get confused in your own files so it's good if you call all of them all the objects I mean I'm gonna set specularity to something low like this and also the harness to something low and now I'm gonna place in here a texture. I have prepared texture. You can get textures everywhere, like in Google, for example. Google Images provide one good ones. Uh, for this purpose, you can use any image you can find out anywhere. It's good if you photograph your own, of course. I'm gonna set the normal and something really low, like dot dot o one or something like that. And now I'm gonna press go in this orthographic side view go to edit mode U project from U bounce now you can see this white part being on the right but we need it on bottom grass bottom is lighter than anything else we can rotate it minus 90 in my case maybe different in your case I don't know what default orientation you have for the UVs and how your texture is oriented. For me, it works well like this. Now we have this nice grass stem. But it will never be enough with just a single one ugly grass stem. You need more of them. First, I'm gonna scale it in Y axis down a bit. I have tested it with particles later. But it actually needs to be kind of thin otherwise it looks strange not good okay now I'm gonna do, do duplicate it and move on a y axis by one minute and now I'm gonna call this grass blade 2 because it's the second one and leave the same material because it will work fine with the same I'm gonna go to proportional editing and 
change it a bit. I use mouse scroll to change the size of it. By the way, okay. Some kind of random grass. As you can see, grass is growing interestingly, and it, it can make lots of farms. I'm gonna make this something folded down here, like this. And uh, yeah, I can also uh, move this sideways. Okay, such an interesting foldment. And yes. I forgot for that one. Set smooth shading for both of them. And now it looks kinda like you see those corners. It looks cubical. I don't know how it's called. It looks bad. You can fix it by adding subdivision surface. For this time I'm gonna add two subdivisions. And now it looks way more fluid. If you wish, you can add one for this stem too, but there's no really need for it. It's up to you. Now I'm gonna um, duplicate this again. Place another blade. Call this grass blade 3. Um, you can actually set this so that in anything it looks like almost you. It looks almost like you would be using curves. See? It actually is easy to edit this geometry. With just few grabs you can fluidly move lots of vertices. And here you can see how you can randomly make different types of grass blades. I'm gonna stick with three interesting ones of this kind. One is not that interesting actually. This one is the strangest one. Okay, I'm gonna go out of this and now I'm gonna duplicate this and make the last one we're gonna use later. And uh, this one is... I'm gonna add for this one a cylinder. Um, here I'm gonna set something like 8 and move it. And of course I'm gonna delete those tops otherwise it looks wrong. Um, I'm gonna scale down in all axis except Z and move up. Oh, I hadn't deselected that one, sorry. And now I'm gonna place it a bit this way. Maybe even more for now. Oh, I haven't disabled proportional editing here. Select the top part, move it upwards a bit. Maybe corner R here. Then you can just uh, select this part and move it a bit. Scale down. Extrude. Scale. Um, on the top I'm gonna add single leaf. I'm gonna just select this part and press shift D to duplicate and place it somewhere around there. It's gonna be strange type of grass but I just don't want to stick with textures. You can place here a piece of different material. You can here add another material and press assign while well, selecting this and then you can have those tops of the grass. I'm gonna stick with this type of dot tip. Oh, and the last thing here is uh, must unwrap those. So select all of them. I'm gonna go to the 
wireframe because then you can sell through objects easily. Um, now back. And now right. Dislike those. And now I'm gonna press U. Um, I may actually use just unwrap and scale this up a lot okay, times um, in the render you won't be able to notice it and I'm gonna scale it down on uh, on everything except height and here I'm gonna place adjust it now the last thing I'm gonna do with this is actually place them to fit and this is this grass should be like hugging it around so it must be a bit bigger and place right at it like like this and those this part still somewhere closer to it maybe even this part and yeah like this and here I'm gonna move it this way and I'm gonna disable proportional editing now and here we have this interesting type of grass very strange one that it will work well out well I think now we're gonna store all of them in group sell them all control G group and then here call this group grass blades and now move it on the second layer and that's it we have prepared our assets for our asset creation those prefabs will be then useful for baking thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if so leave a like and wait for next tutorial where you're gonna find out how to use them thank you